Praise God. Praise God again. My name is Michelle Modoni, and I'm happy to be here today. I want first to thank all of our teachers for allowing me to stand here and preach the word for today. And I also want to appreciate our Reverend, Reverend Benson and uh, Reverend Caro for all the amazing work that they are doing. And I also, I also want to thank my parents, my mom and my dad. T but today, th my mom, it's only my mom. Mom, you can stand. <laughs> the topic belongs to my brother and also my sister. <laughs> the topic that I have chosen today is the birth of Jesus Christ. You can find this story in the book of Luke, chapter 2, verse 1 to 21. I chose this because we are about to celebrate the birth of Jesus. I am going to talk about three things. One, the birth of Jesus and the situations around it. Two, the lessons and benefits we learn from the story of the birth of Jesus Christ. Three, how can we as Christians prepare for the birth of Jesus? Jesus was born in a town called Bethlehem in a manger. Jesus was born in a humble environment. When, Je when King Herod heard this, he ordered his soldiers to kill all the sons born at that time. So the parents of Jesus had to run away. This teaches us that even when we are at simple, humble situations or running away from our enemies, God can still perform a miracle. Two, the lessons and benefits we learn from the story of the birth of Jesus Christ are, one, that Jesus came to save us from sin. Romans chapter 6, verse 23, it says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. 2. He came and spread the word of God. 3. The birth of Jesus brings us good joy, good joy and good news. That's why we celebrate Christmas. 4. Jesus came to restore back the unity or relationship between God and man that was taken away by sin. Five, he helped people have faith and believe in God. Six, God revealed his character through Jesus. Third, how can we as Christians prepare for the birth of Jesus Christ? We can prepare by one, visiting our families. For examples, for example, our grandparents, our uncles, and our cousins, those who are far, and especially those who are in need. Two, sharing gifts. We can share gifts like clothes, shoes, and bags to those who do not have. Three, reading the Bible as a family. This means that as a family, we can read the Bible together, do prayer sessions together, and fellowship as a family. Four, helping one another. We can help one another with chores, studying, and with advice. As I, as I conclude, I would like to say my favorite memory verse, Isaiah chapter nine, verse six. This verse talks about the birth of Christ and who, and who he is to us. And it says, for to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on, hi on his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. It is my prayer that the peace of God shines over us as we celebrate the birth of Jesus. Thank you. God bless you. <laughs>